All right. Well, up until a few days ago, this has been the basically the base for my truing stand at work that I've been using for the last year or so. I uh, wanted to make a new one, something fashioned basically after the park uh, truing stand base where you've got the pivot action there. You can keep it uh, you know, bolted down stationary or you can move it around. But, you know, I wanted to make something a little tricker, a little more industrial. So, basically I uh, got a piece of, uh, well, a little more on this later on the design, but essentially it came down to a piece of one foot by two foot diamond plate aluminum and I basically just cut some little templates out of a you know piece of cardboard the same size and you know basically the solid lines are where it's going to be cut and the dotted lines are where I'm going to fold it over so I kind of did this quite a few months ago and basically got the uh, the bottom end base built um, and you know got some extra little extra storage than the park version and then it's designed to have a little more storage in the rear part as well plus some of the spoke wrenches I use it's got a bigger hole than what comes in that plastic park base so I've kind of improved upon that as well and you know there's uh, the, this is the side pieces um, you know this side it's basically I've got it formed and the edges round off if the holes aren't drilled yet and the other side here I've got the markings where I'm gonna drill and make the pivot point there so anyway kind of the the design of this I you know I it, it could surely be fastened down to a workbench but I actually prefer the portable something more portable where you can slide it out of the way when you're not using it <coughs> um, you know my workbench at, at the shop is not you know super small it's definitely adequate workspace but you know sometimes when you get a project going and you got parts all laid out and old parts and new parts it kind of sometimes becomes too small of a workbench so I like I always like to just be able to slide my my truing stand off into the corner when I'm not using it and you know as well as basically I, the workbench I have now I got about a year ago and previously before that the truing stand was just bolted directly to the bench it's kind of hanging out over the edge and it was always seemed too close to the wall you know if you were working on a wheel and had a spoke break you know kind of an old junky wheel and you had to replace the spoke it's kind of a hassle to pull the wheel out of the truing stand and you know because you couldn't even thread the spoke through without you know so close to the wall and um, in addition you know sometimes you're you know bending over getting something on the ground stand up and whack your head on the on the you know the knob sticking out or the arm so you know, I wanted to tuck it in, but you know that that's a great feature. But also the the, the pivoting action, depending on the wheel size that you're, uh, of, you know, the wheel you're working on. You know, sometimes you you know a bigger wheel, you're going to want it tilted out towards you more, so your line of sight's a little better. And smaller wheels, you'll pivot it in. But you know, it also gives you just a little more working area. But um, so yeah, I've got it. You know working it together here and then you know kind of another thing it's I, I wanted to practice you know just keep working on my aluminum TIG welding you know there's different ways where you can practice on little pieces of scrap and go back and forth or whatever but I, I don't know I figured it's, you might as well make be making something in the process that you can actually use and you know the welds may not look great but I mean, you'll notice where I'm finishing up here is the side that's the most visible, and you know it by far has the best-looking welds of um, the rest of any other other welds on here. So it's, you know, all, all in all, I kind of like the way it turned out, but it's not the prettiest welds, but it's they're definitely doable and functional, and uh, it's you know, good good strong little. Uh, unit there so um, anyway yeah this is kind of just putting the finishing touches on it here and we're about to give it a little inspection and actually take it up to work and put the stand on it to see how it works out alright so we got the, the base basically built up and ready um, 
the actual truing stand is going to sit right in this spot and initially I was going to make a little extra shelf for more storage back here but I think I'm just going to leave it open for now just try it out like it sits and I've got plenty of cans of different lubes and different things like that that I can sit back here that are kind of in the way of my bench so I'm going to try that out um, I've got my two quick release uh, pieces there that these are going to sit back here um, one on each side to you know actually activate the pivot action there um, I actually had to I was going to just cut these down and re-thread them but I didn't have a die that was the correct size so basically I just cut it off you know cut it off right there and then cut the other section off the end of the skewer the threaded end and I just welded them together there so uh, just used what I had came out pretty good so we'll give that a go and we got my little my brackets here these are going to actually mount you know that one's going to mount in the bottom of the base of the stand and then these are going to you know sit right there I've got a so small like water bottle size bolt with the using a chain rivet to go in the center here to get that slightly wider so that'll give us the pivot action and I'll put my quick release on that side so haul this all to work and see how it, how it bolts up to my stand there so I've got everything bolted up it went together real nice and you know got some mild tools in it some linseed oil in the back there and some other stuff and so yeah it, it actually functions just as I hoped it would got some nice pivot action there to it and it, you know with the extra length of it there you know the width and the length it's definitely pretty nice stable little unit um, way more so than that than you know the less the shorter black plastic park one so happy about that uh, the first bolt, I've got the little chain roller in there to give it a, the pivot action and then just a frame reducer to space the quick release out, get a little better grab to it. But yeah, that's it. Um, if you want to see any other little projects coming up, uh, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. Got lots of other things coming up, so thanks for watching.